So we just finished doing our uh, touch up with uh, David just outside the studio right now. Just doing a little scan of the treatment. A couple of side shots and front shots. David, you had your treatment, what? Is it a year and a half ago now, isn't it? Yeah. Well, coming up to two years. Coming up to two years. Yeah. And you've had how many sessions? This is my fifth one. Today's number five. So you had three initial ones and then a touch up a little bit after, and then this is uh, the final 3D sort of touch up, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, perfect. What's people's reactions been in general to it? Well, no one can believe it when they see it. Yeah. yeah. Did anyone sort of spot it right away and said, oh, you've had something done? Or No one spotted it on the first one. No? No one. Have you told many people that you've had it done? Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. No one, no one notices. Is it? Has people not almost realise that you've gone from completely bald to now technically a full head of hair? You, you have a couple that look... Yeah. And They've kind of like realised that you were bald and now you've got hair. Have but they said? Have they said that to you? Have they? Oh yeah, they say yeah. it, but they don't know it's a tattoo. Oh really? No. Well, they just thought your hair was growing back. I thought I'd grow my hair. Literally. Yeah. Oh wow, that's crazy. What do you think initially made you get it done in the first place? It's for the confidence. Yeah. Because you, you felt like you were lacking something with yeah. your hair and, and wearing hats all the while. Yeah, yeah. Simple yeah. as. And in any ways, do you wish you'd done it sooner? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Best money I've ever spent. Is it? For sure. Nice one. Cool. Right. So here's a close-up video of David's treatment completed today. Uh, this is session number five. Uh, he's had three initial sessions with me uh, about two years ago and then had a fourth session as a guaranteed touch-up and then came back today for uh, another touch-up just to sort of get it looking fresh for the new year. Um, we decided to do the 3D approach anyway because he was a good candidate for it. Um, he had a really good base treatment and what we did was obviously go with the much darker colour, uh, utilise the lighter skin tone underneath to sort of help with the contrast between the lighter and the dark pigments to create depth. Here's some before and afters. Um, so yeah, two years ago and then today, um, some headshots and then frontal shots as well. Uh, so yeah, I hope you liked the video. More pictures are on my Instagram, so feel free to check those out. Thank you.